What do I think is the one thing that will improve your EFT tapping? That's coming up next. Hi, I'm Alan Combies. I'm a transformational coach and welcome to Morning Coffee with Alan, a video in a series. And today I want to share with you what I believe to be really the most important factor when it comes to using tapping or EFT and really getting the results. In other words, if you feel like you're not getting the results you want from tapping, I believe if you take a deep dive into what I'm gonna share with you here, it will make a huge, huge impact on the changes that you can make and subsequently what you can how you can change your life in essence, right? So quick backstory, I, I'll just share with you a couple of ways that tapping has helped me. I remember uh, years and years ago when I first started tapping, one of the things that I addressed almost accidentally was my beliefs about me and uh, relationships. So for many years into my 30s, I had a hard time holding on to relationships and I would date maybe for a couple months and oftentimes I would just go single for, for months and months at a time. One day I, I had this memory come, come, come flooding into my head and I just saw right there that this memory was the reason I had, it was, it was the reason that I had so many hangups around relationships and my belief about myself, my belief about women, my relationship with women, all of that. And so right then and there, I did the smartest thing. I tapped in the heat of the moment. So I saw this memory and I aimed at it and I tapped. Now, you might think big whoop. Well, it was shortly after that that my dating life exploded and within a few weeks, I ended up meeting the woman that I would be with for over I think we're going on 14 years now. Another time I, I did some tapping and um, I did some tapping around finances and, and issues and things like that. And I literally went from being 40 grand in debt, nearly homeless, little to no income, to a f just a matter of weeks really later, having a job, making more money than I had before, uh, living in a townhome on a marina. So all of that happened very quickly. And that was actually the catalyst to me wanting to become a practitioner and to study this stuff. So what is this one key that I'm speaking of? Well, that one key is something that I learned over and over time as I, as I del dove into EFT and everything that gets connected with it. I dove into the process and thanks to some mentors and great teachers, I realized that this one key factor was really the secret sauce to having tapping work for you. And that is what we call aiming. Aiming. What is aiming? Well, if you look at traditional EFT, aiming would be the setup statement. So you might have some sort of issue. Maybe you've got a, a fear of spiders. And so you would say, even though I have this fear of spider, spiders, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. That is basically aiming. But what, what we really want to do is supercharge your aiming. What does that mean? Well, your life, your life experience is a reflection of everything that you're holding inside, quite literally. So if you have a fear of spiders, it's because you're doing something inside and it's reflecting back to you a fear of spiders. And so when you ask the question, how do I know I have this fear of spiders? You need to go inside. So you're, you're turning away from the outside, right? This is the result of what you're doing inside. What you see out here is the result. We wanna turn inside and aim at how you know. What's the internal process that you do for fear of spiders? Now, in my case with relationships, it was a particular memory that I had with the past relationship. It just flashed up, luckily, in my consciousness and I knew right then and there to aim at it and tap. Now, how did I aim at it? I felt the emotion. I looked at it straight on. I didn't run from it. I looked at the, the memory. I saw the faces. I saw the, the pictures. I saw, the, I felt the feelings. 
In other words, I aimed right at it with my consciousness. I looked at the memory with my consciousness and then I tapped, okay? So this is really, really key. Now, whatever your pain, problem, issue, symptom, or challenge might be currently, there's gonna be different internal structures, right? So you might have different processes, different internal processes. And so it's really going to take some commitment and some honesty and a desire for change. Now, the, some of the biggest changes I've had were when memories just sort of came into my awareness. Sometimes they happen, you know, when I'm driving. Sometimes they happen when I'm in the shower. Other times they happen when I'm sitting still and just meditating. These memories will pop into my mind and I'll see them right away. And because I've really trained myself over the years to turn, look, aim, and face, and tap on these, I'm able to get very rapid changes and results. Now again, why do this? Well, what we hold inside is how is what we express and how we what we project on to reality around us, right? So the more we can come from a place of openness and love and appreciation, and it's not putting your head in the sand, it's not being naive or looking the other way, quite literally, you know, if you, if you have a challenge or, or, or something with your boss, going inside and noticing how you create that challenge, notice everything about it, notice the uncomfortableness, notice any anger, notice any shame, notice whatever it is, see what memories come up, be open to facing it rather than trying to reject it. You know, one of the things that I think is great about the, uh, the, the traditional EFT setup phase is it's really kind of forcing you to accept the negative emotion because the number one reason we don't change uh, well i guess the number two reason number one is we don't aim properly number two is we try to avoid it and that goes hand in hand with aiming in order to aim you have you cannot avoid it you have to really sit in it and notice it and tap and release and let it go now of course i don't do traditional setup phrases like like EFT I follow more of the faster EFT system as created by Robert Smith again this takes some practice and it takes some awareness but the more honest the more open the more you are willing to see and accept that whatever is going on out here is a reflection of what's going on in here and then get curious turn inward notice how you're representing your current challenge, problem, pain, symptom, or issue, and noticing that that representation generally takes on the form of memories, thoughts, feelings. Uh, there can be colors, you know, smells, sensations, tastes even, all of these things. Like if you think about uh, your favorite dessert, you can probably taste it right now. You can probably smell flowers, right? So we have an internal process for creating these things. Go inside, aim, tap, release, make peace, and your world will transform. I hope that helps. This is Alan Combe's transformational coach, stress management consultant. This is Morning Coffee with Alan. We'll see you in the next one.